What you waiting for? What you waiting for? Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, hopefully everyone's doing good. Welcome to week five of our under 14 under 16 training session. Um, so today we're gonna to be looking at footwork into shooting. So, you know, uh, really focusing on um, our dribble pickup into shooting. I think we did something similar about two or three sessions ago, but this is gonna be a bit more advanced or it's gonna go into more details, all right? And a lot more actions, okay? So watch this space. First drill, all right? We're gonna go into crossover into one two step pickups okay all right so with this one you need two cones okay or two shoes socks whatever you can put down okay into get to the drill okay so that's what we're looking at okay it's just crossing over and then into one two step okay so we're gonna move our setup which i've been talking about for the last few weeks okay set your man up cross over get your foot down set up cross get your foot down Okay. Make sure you get outside the frame of the defender's foot. Okay, so these two obviously down to um, to place as if that's where the defender is defending. Okay, so the crossover. Make sure it's outside the defender's foot, and your footwork is outside their frame as well. Okay, so once again, crossover, foot down, set up, cross, foot down. One more time. Okay, so with this one, you rep out as much as possible, two to three minutes so you get it down, okay? All right, so next move, okay, we're going into our between the legs, same concept, okay? Set up dribble, between the legs, one, two, outside the frame, okay? Set up, between the legs, one, two, to pick up. Set up, Okay. The most important part of it is about how fast you plant your cross steps. Okay. So after, I, after my routine, how fast can I get this foot down into my pickup? Okay, that's the most important part of the drill. Okay, so make sure you're really working your legs at your foot speed. Okay, so again, it's between, foot one two, between, two one two. All right, next one we're gonna look at, okay, it's just so we cross over into split steps like we worked on last week into cross back over into your pull up okay so right side set up you're gonna cross okay so you're gonna cross you're gonna cross as the ball's coming to your left leg you're splitting then you're gonna cross back one two step okay split one two split one two split Okay, so on the left side, split, one, two, split, one, two. Okay, so again, it's all about making sure that foot hits the ground quickly, okay, into your pickup, okay. Crossover, as that was coming over, central position, so splitting like you're going, you're coming back with a little crossover, and then driving up into your pickup. All right, so next one, okay, we're looking at awkward steps, okay, so, you know, it's going to be same, it's going to be an awkward, so opposite foot, planting first, so before we're going to go inside out, now we're going to go outside in, okay, outside in, all right, so, set up, cross, okay, there's a little pause, a little hesitation in between the crossover, okay, cross, outside in, so, cross, outside foot, and up. Side for and up, okay. Upside, cross, upside, up. Cross, one, two, up. Okay, one, two, up. Okay, so you gotta make sure you're really working on that hesitation and that pause in between. Okay, so let the ball drag as far as it can, as far as it can, and then you take that step into 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 your shot. One, hezzy, pull up. Cross, one, two. Oh, inside, cross, hazy, pull up. One, two, up. Oh. Okay, 
but that's our awkward footwork, okay? Right, so the last part of it, of the session today for me, and Coach Bob will take over, okay, is the same concepts, cross into awkward footwork, but this time it's going to be between into awkward um, um, pick up, okay? So we're going to go between set up and then awkward, okay? Pick up. So set up, dribble, between. Ta-ta, one, two, okay? Set up, between, set up, one. You're using that, that set up dribble to just gather your footwork if you need to, okay? So, one, two, one, one, two. Same foot, other leg comes up, and you're raising up into your shoe. Two, one, two. All right, and that's the last part of the session for me. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. All right, and you get a good workout from it. All right, again, all the drills, I would definitely say, get as many reps as possible. I'm not gonna put a time limit on how many reps you're gonna do. It's up to you. You can put a time on it. I'll probably go, if you're gonna put a time on it, three to four minutes on the same skill so you're getting as many rips as possible and you really drill it as if you're in a game speed okay all right from um listen to a couple of podcasts or watching a few um youtube videos obviously obviously over over the lockdown you know um kevin durant one of the best players in the world right now he works every training session he works hard all right, he's going game speed. There's no time he's relaxing. He's, you know, like today's about his drills. Okay, and he's one of the best players, of most unguardable player in the world. If he's doing that, yes, I know he's getting paid for it, but if you guys want to reach that goal, you know, be at that level or any level, that's what you got to do. Every drill has to be game speed, game speed, All right? All right, enjoy it. Over to Coach Noah. Peace. Hey, what's up, Knights family? Today, in my part of the session, it's all about strength and condition. Okay, predominantly it's going to be ankles, knees, and core with a little bit of cardio in. Okay, mm -hmm. those areas are things that basketball players need to look after or right, make sure they do not get any injuries. Let's get straight into it. Okay, today for our warm up, it's going to be forward leaps. Okay, down and triple threat, the position we use so often in basketball. Use your arm to propel yourself forward. Leap, land nice and light, making sure the knees are bent. Go again, then we're going to backpedal, come again. Leap nice and light, keep going. Use the space that you have, if it's not much, just go once or twice, back pedal nice and quick, come again. The second part of our warm up, we're going into our skaters, into our back pedal again. So the skate is just like you imagine, you're on your ice skates, you're going onto one, the bent leg, okay, making sure you land nice and light. The muscles that you're holding yourself now, are your quads and your glutes. As you go through, making sure your chest is nice and high, nice and proud, looking forward. Okay, when we run out of our space, we back pedal nice and quick, come again loading through keeping nice and strong but keeping balanced we come again run out of space let's go again just like the first one we go three times 30 seconds each okay so on to our first exercise of today just like our first part of the warm-up it's gonna be a two-footed hop so this time with a bit more intensity in that triple threat position just like before use our arms to propel us forward nice and quick nice and quick nice and quick we back pedal again we come again This time, we're going four times, 45 seconds each. So exercise two is a variation on exercise one. We're gonna go one foot. So this time, making sure we start in this position, chest is always up, nice and proud, facing forward, okay? Off one, land on the same one, nice and balanced. Knee bent the whole time, quad and glute turned on, core turned on as well. And we go again, and we go again, and we go again, all right? Back pedal again, same foot. Get all the way there, back pedal again. Once again, it's gonna be four times for 45 seconds each. And obviously, just like a ball handling drill, we're doing something on one side, we've got to do something on the other side. So now we're going right foot, we're here, nice and strong, nice and balanced, nice and light on our feet. We get to the end and we back pedal, and we come again, same foot. Again, it's four times, 45 seconds each. 
just like the last two drills are really working on our core and our quad for glute and knee stabilization, we're now gonna work more on the ankle stabilization. So again, it's gonna be one footed, so we're here, all right? It's gonna be hops again, but now we're into a square. So I'll go forward, okay, to the side, backwards, and then back to my starting position, okay? And I keep going around in that same direction, okay? Keep my knee bent, okay? Making sure I'm landing toes first, okay? Taking all the pressure into the ball of my feet, okay? Nice and balanced, and I keep going all the way around. Again, four times, 45 seconds. So as I was going clockwise there with my left foot, I need to make sure I go with my left foot as well, anti-clockwise. That goes with my right, clockwise and anti-clockwise. I'll show that now. that's going to be more explosive guys that want to try and increase their vertical it's going to be really helpful for you so now what we're going to start with is what's called a pistol squat so now we're not going to do a full pistol we're going to do a half pistol a pistol squat is basically a one-legged squat we're not going to try and do that right now so what we're going to do is going to tuck our leg that we're not using just back like this all right we're going to go halfway down then explode up and land back on that same leg okay again nice and light nice and balanced knees always bent all right pressure comes through the quads and the glutes core always engaged. We go again, release down as low as we can, explode up. Nice and hold that, nice and tight, nice and controlled, and go again. Points of emphasis on that exercise there, your body is all working together. It's not just legs working on their own, arms are helping you okay, gain momentum to get nice and high and making sure your arms are out for balance as you come down. So of course we've got to do the right side as we just do the left side, so let's see that now. Okay, knees nice and bent. Okay, get our balance. Again, chest should be up. We're not facing the ground. We're here, explode up and land. See as my arms came nice and wide to help me get up and stay nice and wide to get in that balance. We go one more time, nice and low. Try and keep the chest up, explode up and come down. And just like with the last exercises, we're gonna go four times each leg for 45 seconds each. Okay, so staying with our explosive exercises, we're now gonna do lunge jumps. We get into that lunge position, okay, split legs, making sure our front knee okay, does not come past the ankle there, at least in line. Okay, we're on the toes of the back leg, knees bent, come nice and low, we're gonna change feet in the air. We explode up, using the arms for momentum and for balance. Okay, can we get faster? Can we get higher? Each time. We're going four times, 45 seconds each. Okay, so now moving to our last exercise, staying with our explosive movements. We're going back to the skater, but this time with a melt. So let me explain what that is. So just like before, we had the skater. So now we're here, but now we melt down, just like before, okay? Bending the leg, keeping the chest up. We explode off, bend all the way down, okay? Explode off to the next one. Go as low as you can, arms out for balance. And then again, we back pedal again. Then we come again. balance it's okay put the foot down if you need to then regain balance as soon as possible four times 45 seconds each okay so that's the fifth session done with thanks to coach Isaac for taking the first part make sure you guys are working hard for his session my sessions all session you guys are doing it's warm weather right now guys so make sure you stay hydrated okay stay safe peace